because a lot of people who come from Europe, they will come to KL and they will see KL as like a representation of Malaysia. And it's really not actually. I don't think it's like that bad compared to in Vietnam or in like in the Philippines. <laughs> That's the thing, like everyone always comes with all oh, the jams here. I'm like, mate, have you been to like Jakarta? It's so bad. We're okay with it. I don't mind it. When you are jam on the street, when it's really hot, like in summer, it could get so hot. Or when it's raining and flooding. <laughs> because we have flood in Vietnam, even in uh, the, the biggest city. So in Hanoi, the capital, it rains so much and you flood. <laughs> You'll be like up to here, like above your knee with water that come up from sewage, <laughs> trying to push a motorbike under the rain with like a thin raincoat. That is not fun. It's better than I expected actually. Back in my city, transportation system is almost perfect. They come every three minutes without any delays. But I knew that I couldn't expect the same thing. Mm -hmm. But actually, they're okay. They're running like following the schedule. But sometimes there is an accident. And <laughs> yeah. Well, it's getting better and better, right? There are more and more lines like MRT that are working more efficiently. So I think it's, it's great. Yeah, and I can see the difference since I came here till now, like how is progressing on the infrastructure. But listening to them, it's like, okay, it's nice to know that we've come this far and we've improved on so many things. Because my perspective of general transportation here is very different to the experiences these guys have had. We do complain a lot about Malaysia, but I think generally we're, we're getting there. Progress is being made in our own style, you know, slow and steady. <laughs> Absolutely, Absolutely agree with that. that. I would say the opposite actually. I think Malaysians and everybody here knows how to kick back when they want to kick back. Uh, Japanese are always scared of making mistakes at work, so they like to make sure and make sure they get double check, double check before they do. But here I find that Malaysians are more not so scared of making mistakes, they just do the work. <laughs> That's how you grow. <laughs> and if they do mistake, they apologize, but they're not too they're careful which is a, it's a really good thing for me, good learning. They're more laid back, they're like, okay la. <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> okay la. <laughs> la. I do agree with this statement. Malaysians tend to be a bit more chin tai. <laughs> we are pretty much more easygoing. We are not so harsh on ourselves. But if we want to, we will, you know. I think Asians in general, Southeast Asians in general, are very protective of our food. Like the Thais would defend their food and likewise the Indonesians as well, uh, because we love our food. And rightfully so, we make one of the, some of the best food in the world, I would say. I think there's nothing wrong with having pride in the food from your own country. Having spent some time in uh, Malaysia, some time in Singapore, I think my opinion rests is that Malaysia actually has the better food. Nice. But there's nothing wrong actually with having pride. And, and in fairness, Malaysia does some great food anyway. That's true. I think our food stems from like our culture. It's very deeply rooted in our culture. I can't recall any because so far, everything looks nice to me. The, the Asam Laksa. Chicken feet. When I went to a bakte place, I think it's a pig leg. The dry bakute. Probably something like uh, kuei chow. Some Indian places, they would have this gigantic pot full of stew that is brown. Curry. And you don't know what's inside the stew. Like sometimes they have chicken, sometimes it's like fish head, you know, like this big pot with sauce and gravy. Don't look at it! <laughs> You're supposed to eat, not to look! <laughs> like you could find the nasi kanda and then you just slap it over like a bunch of rice. Okay, okay so that's what I thought of, mm, the curry. Mm, I didn't think of that before. If I need to choose like between black and white, I think more for no than for yes. Maybe at some point, like Merdeka, people will be really patriotic, but I think you live in a, like, in paradise. You have beautiful islands, beautiful, like, forests and jungles, but then you see people trashing around. So for me, being patriotic is taking care of your land. And I think Malaysians can do better on that. I've met many Malaysians who I sense that they like really proud of their country. There are people from like different parts of Malaysia, like different city have their own like very unique foods and they seem to be so excited about their food and want you to try their food and, <laughs> and so on. It's, I think that's patriotism too, like you know, like being proud of what is special and delicious and beautiful about where you come from. 
In Japan, I've never really thought of patriotism because we are living in a monoculture. We speak only one language. We are living in only one culture. What I love actually about this part of the world is the way in which you guys come together. And it doesn't matter kind of what background you're from. Uh, everybody kind of comes together, you, they unite, you party, hang out, get to know like somebody that you haven't met any time before. When your national day comes, you're so excited about it, you know, and everybody forgets all the nonsense which is going on in their lives and the nonsense which is going on in the news and you guys just like come together and unite. So yeah, I mean, national pride and such here is pretty great, I think. Actually, I feel very proud, you know, hearing what they say about Malaysia, like, wow, okay. As a Malaysian myself, well, a, a lot of times we tend to neglect, we tend to forget how beautiful Malaysia is. We are always looking out when people are actually trying to look in and realize how beautiful Malaysia is. Lo que me gusta más de Malasia es la diversidad de su gente y cómo a pesar de ser de diferentes culturas pueden vivir todos juntos. Điều mà tôi thích nhất ở về Malaysia là việc mà những tôn giáo rất là khác nhau có thể cùng chung sống và cùng hòa trộn với nhau. Nếu bạn là một người sống ở Malaysia thì hay là người dân Malaysia thì bạn có có thể vẫn cảm thấy những cái sự cách biệt nhưng mà với với một người từ bên ngoài nhìn vào thì tôi vẫn cảm thấy đây là một điều hết sức là đặc biệt và rất là đáng trân trọng về đất nước của bạn. Malaysia thì tôi thích cái nào mà nó là beach,海にいっぱい綺麗な海がいっぱいあるところです。けるからちょっと飛行機に乗るだけでとっても綺麗なビーチに行けるのですごくリラックスもできるし、東南アジアのリゾート地。私がマレーシアで一番好きなことは好きな天気です、えー、なぜかというと天気がい,あの、まあ、いつも青空が見えるということと夏だから日本みたいに冬服準備したりとかしなくて済むので、えー、一年中夏っていうところが好きです。What I love most about Malaysia, I think it's got to be the hospitality. You hear that people try to push an agenda, that there are differences and there are divides, but actually it doesn't really exist. And the beautiful thing about it is the food brings everybody together. It's like the massive leveler. Recently, we've been having our auditions, looking for hosts at Clocking In. So I will be one of the new Clocking In hosts. And I'm one of the new hosts. Got an array of hosts as well. Be sure to follow all our socials. Can't wait to meet you guys. And I can't wait to watch another episode of Clocking In with all of you. So this is, yes, I'm Vivian. This is Daryl Baptist. Clocking, Clocking out. out. Goodbye.